mac and cheese, cheese, right? And hey, man. But all the young folks, they would just uh, load them up. So we'll start that uh, next week, inshallah. So we'll have our food. What we're going to prepare for uh, PGMA, uh, we'll have more pans than we had last time. Uh, so we'll have chicken. And after the chicken, we might have even salad. You know, if we don't have salad, we can have uh, the uh, the uh, we'll be getting back to bean and green beans with potatoes and onions. You know what I mean? So we could have a little salad, but uh, the, we could give them a, that if they get you get your vegetables here and the rice will all automatically have mixed vegetables in it too. And the chicken will take care of the protein. And the uh, mac and cheese will take care of all the cholesterol that they need. You know. <laughs> I don't know if you remember uh I was given cook by when the foreigners and everybody used to come to eat here. And some of them have them little health diets, Muhammad Alasi's wife and them. And so I was telling us, look, if you can't stand no butter and all of that stuff, I said, we put, uh, we put butter in this food. I mean, and they actually ease back a little because they on them floaty diets. They don't realize if you eat this stuff once a month, that ain't going to kill you. But they, butter is what makes the stuff, the food, you know, butter or fatty things. Butter, it makes it taste good. You know, that's why all that old fat back in greens and all that, of course we're not putting nothing. That gave it the flavor, the fat. Fat carries the taste, you know, in food. You know, we ain't going to do them like that. But, uh, hey, so, no, I told everybody, I said, if you can't, if you're on a low cholesterol diet, you can't eat the food. And they it actually backed up uh, when all the foreigners used to come, you know. Okay. So let's get down to brass tacks. Uh, the other thing is, as long as we're getting a little bit of uh, uh, chicken, we're going to also start doing, uh, as long as a brother can bring us as much chicken as we, we're going to do something. That, you know the way they have chicken nuggets at them uh, little eating places? Now they have mac chicken. We're going to have chicken strips. See, we can strip all the meat off of them and we could fry it in our batter or bake it however we want. So we're going to have a serious chicken. We're going to call them chicken chunks. Yeah, chicken chunks, what the heck? You just uh, hook them up, chicken chunks. And uh, okay, well, Eid al Adha is coming up soon. So that will be on that, will be with waffles, French toast, and potatoes, of course. But we're going to 
start getting more potatoes so we can, you know, that uh, green beans and potatoes and onions mix that we always had. That's a good taste, and uh, so we're going to have that more with our other f our food. Okay, we talked about eggs. Uh, so do you have chicken chunks? Chicken fried rice? And we have a little fish here and there. We can fish fry. You know, give them some of our stuff. That uh, Yeah, the people will... Uh, oh, I bet the Negroes, I mean, the Africans over there, they, I think they'll love... Uh, uh, fish fried rice. It'll remind them of something they used to have back home. And that's probably why our food is so popular because it has something that the people back home used to eat. One of the big, uh, in the islands, they had uh, rundon. Rundon is a, a fish dish that people in the islands eat. Uh, and the brothers, even from Guyana, they would uh, they would eat it, you know. And uh, it was a fish dish. Okay, chicken strips. Uh, chicken fried rice. All of those things with, that we've been doing, we'll hook them up, but we'll elevate them to a higher level, you know. Also, gloves and what have you will uh, so the, the visual stuff, you know. Uh, chicken strips. Fried rice. Our neighbors. He said, uh, uh, conscious purification of Nas. Uh, what we're doing right now, that's basically what it is. See, uh, we've been evolving ourselves, but it, part of the evolution means that you still have some of that. Uh, it's not Jahiliya Islam, but uh, popularization of what you're doing. If you do the work that Allah hooked up for you, you don't have to seek popularity. Like we don't say we yeah, we'll get popular if we do. But in the back of your mind you still want people to, you know, well now we doing we moving more on what we might call the right intention. That we doing it because of Sisabilila if some notoriety and some something comes out of it, that's fine. We're not against it. But we're not designing a program to get a profile. You see what I mean? It's to do good deeds. And see, and that's, that's not only is that strategic, but ain't nothing nobody can do about it. See, boss man can surround us. Not a can. Boss man does. And he's been doing it. He's been doing it for decades. He does it, he think, with expertise, but we think it's stupid. We think him and his helpers, they're tech classically stupid, you know, because uh, people should be able to read the environment. And when tilt, you know, when a society is getting to where it's tilting, away from being able to correct it. You know, if it tilts a little less, you can pull it back. But when it tilts way, way over, now it's going to take cataclysmic things to straighten it out. It may mean the laying waste or eradicating a people, a society, or anything like that. Okay, now, what we're doing is, uh, this is part of Tazkiya Bil Nafs also, purification of Nafs. That, in other words, 
the reason we're doing it is the purification of nafs, not the uh, and uh, going along with the taskiya bil nafs means all the stuff that's going along with that. In other words, you're not doing it because, well, if uh, we go out and they, we do this, we're gonna get to raise more funds. That will later on. That's true. That's absolutely true. But that's not the reason we're going out. And I want you to think about when we went out the last couple of weeks, what felt better? We didn't get no, we didn't do no fundraising. But did that feel better or did we, when we go out standing there with boxes feel better? When you're coming back, right? It's automatic. It's, just, it's not even an argument. That feels better. Right. Uh, forget about the little drama, you know that they. You, we uh, we're not going to get away from the little drama because people are not going to understand. But we can't hold ourselves back by. The more we think along their lines or that lines, the less blessings we're going to get. And if we do everything feasible Allah, the more we get in line with the cause of Allah, uh, it's clear. The most, that's when the real good stuff is going to happen. And remember, uh, about good stuff happening to us, hey, uh, we have no complaints about nothing. Because one thing we know, we know that we're the target of everybody. I don't care where we go. If it's out in Virginia, they're going to ease out pretty soon. Somebody's going to come out and let us know that we don't want you doing that, although it doesn't harm anything. And we, we, we don't, you know. And pretty soon, uh, wherever we go, somebody's going to ease out and they got something to say, you know, about um, whatever it is we're doing. It doesn't make a difference. If it's a loudspeaker, loudspeaker will be less during this period because uh, we're going more into this. We're just going to go out and do what we might, what might be called good deeds and, and do them. And, uh, People like it, that'd be just nice. If they don't like it, uh, uh, I don't. I don't like that food. What did you do with that? Did you cook it better? Well, how, how would you like? Well, you can come over and show us how to cook it. If you, yeah, you got an African mumbo jumbo meal that y'all like to eat. So come on over and show me how to cook it, and it'll be on the t- plate next week. You know, they. Eat a, Ugali and stuff like that in East Africa, you know, you know, like so. You come show us how to hook that stuff up, and uh, we'll uh, watch it. Then we'll cook it like you cooked it. Then we'll put the the American Negro style in it, cause it has to be us. It wouldn't be. We have to put the special colored taste and everything. Anyway, all right. So, uh, just to to wrap things up, so PGMA was very good this last week. So when we go out there this week, we'll have one of the tables on the side. We'll have all the stuff down there that we have. We have peanut butter, we have tuna, we have canned goods. There's no sense of them sitting there, and, right? There's no sense of it just going to waste. <clears throat> and we might be able to order a few more things. And as long as we got certain types of food, we'll prepare that. And... Uh, when we can do it the way we're doing it, we'll do it this way. 
when we have to do it another way, we'll do it that way. But this seems to be, you know, the Quran always, and the Hadith is just heavy on feeding the poor. And now these people are not poor, but let's call it feeding the people. You know, so... Uh, Okay, I talked about chicken chunks. A uh, question though, like if we're doing it Saturday or Sunday, do you think people up the hill would like a uh, uh, waffles and chicken or French toast and stuff like that? <laughs> 